every day. That's why DC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DC.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want toll free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. The Obamacare mandate uh, deadline apparently was yesterday, and according to Time magazine, if you were intending to sign up, apparently you're SOL. You are not going to be able to do so un- again until November, uh, when the 2015 open enrollment period begins. So there are going to be fines that will be issued, apparently, and we can talk more. There's a few more details worth getting out but here. But you can still sign up with an insurance carrier. This is They just do a sort of a, um, a seasonal brokerage is okay. what they do. So you can share your thoughts, your experience. If you've tried to go through this, 855-450-FREE, or tell us why you're not going to go through with it. 855-450-3733. You don't have to use your real name when you call in. That's, That's true. one of the things about Free Talk Live. We're not tra- tracking your telephone numbers. Actually, we never even see f- to phone numbers, do we? They may have them at the network, but yeah. uh, I don't imagine they're tracking your numbers. Uh, certainly, <laughs> I, I can't imagine the, the good people at uh, Genesis Communications Network would have any interest in doing that. Uh, so we'd love to hear from you at 855-450-FREE. So if you go to coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of really, really high-end coffee. It's called BuzzBox. It's shade-grown. And shade-grown's really important if you get that sort of acid reflux thing from coffee because shade-grown just it doesn't have the same acid contents, and that's uh, really important. It's also 100% organic, top 1% great Arabica. And BuzzBox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something that other high-end coffees really don't seem to have any concern for at all. They um, help to provide micro-loans to not only their farmers and the people that participate in their farming co-op, trying to get families in on that side, but they help Free Talk Live to give microloans to other people in other communities who are doing all kinds of different things. Is it like uh, there's uh, you know a guy who needed a sewing machine to make shoes, and we found out about him recently. It's, uh, it's interesting to see all these stories of the people that we touch. And you can sign up with us. You're going to drink this. You know, you drink coffee every day. Help us to help you take care of that coffee issue. You don't have to buy it in the store any longer. We're going to have it delivered to you. And on a regular basis, you set the timing, you'll get great coffee, and you're helping people. You're giving them a hand up, not a handout. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Try it out. Get that first pound free at coffee.freetalklive.com. Sign up for the subscription. You can cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Johnny Ray sharing some information from a CNN news piece about the Obamacare deadline. Was there more to share, Johnny Ray? Well, I do want to lay out the fundamentals of the major provisions of Obamacare as provided by Wikipedia.com. Great. Uh, now, you said that we're talking about the Obamacare mandate. You sound a little silly. The There's a couple of mandates In Obamacare, there's the individual mandate, which stipulates that if you are uninsured at um, at a certain date, that's today, right? mm, Then you will be assessed a penalty of ninety five dollars, which increases to three hundred and six hundred plus dollars. But 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 if you can say that you you know you have a um, uh, you know religious exemption, and uh, I'm sure that you can go to Shire Free Church, you can be a member of the Shire Free Church, and we'll give you a re- religious exemption. I see um, what you did there. Very good. Yeah, yeah sure. And um, absolutely, because uh, the Shire Free Church exists in the virtual world as well as in the real world. And so, as far as I'm concerned, anybody who's listening to my voice here on Free Talk Live is. Uh, and and you know agrees with some of the moral teachings we talk about here on Free Talk well, you Live. You do have to be a signer of the Shire Society Declaration. Yep, that's a true statement. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, it's there's all kinds of buts, but there's a religious exemption. So church.shiresociety.com is where you can learn more about that. So what's the other mandate? You said there was the individual mandate. Yes, yes. Uh, excellent, Ian. Uh, there is also an employer mandate. Mm-hmm. Businesses which employ 50 or more people but do not offer health insurance to their full-time employees, will pay a tax penalty 
if the government has subsidized a full-time employee's health care through tax deductions or other means. So if they don't offer full-time? It, yeah, it seems a little weird, but the way I read it is if you've got 50 or more employees yeah. and one of your employees has a uh, shirt the individual mandate? No, no. no. Is has uh, has his health care subsidized through the federal government somehow? Hmm. Then you are required to offer health insurance to all of your full time employees. <laughs> but basically, that sounds awful. Yeah, basically, if uh, for whatever reason the federal government doesn't have to subsidize, and that's probably a means test. So if you say say for instance you employ a large amount, uh, you know, fifty one. 51 investment bankers and you pay them fi- about you know on average with bonuses they get five hundred thousand dollars a piece mm-hmm. per year it's unlikely that you have to provide them health insurance because they aren't going to have the means testing likely to ha- uh, get some kind of subsidy from the federal government do you see what i'm saying Right. I can see that. And so also, if you had a, uh, a crew of younger people who are generally healthy and none of them were on government subsidized health care, then you also wouldn't have to provide the insurance. Is that right? No, because all, all it takes is for one of those people to sign up. And remember, yeah. there's an individual mandate. And then um, if they're not paid well, they're likely to be subsidized by the federal government because they can't afford to pay for it or whatever. And then you're um, back in the pot. And the employer. Wait, wait, if somebody signs up for uh, health insurance, that means they're not being subsidized, correct? That means they're paying their uh, insurance. The federal government subsidizes everything. Do you really think they passed this uh, this 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 Affordable Health Care Act and they didn't provide subsidies for poor people? For God's sakes, don't you think it was voted through by by Democrats? They're constantly lying about being trying to help poor people. But instead, what this is going to do, it's going to result in them being moved from full time employee status down Mm -hmm. to part time employee status. All they've done is fired a bunch of full time employees with their stupid um, ACA thing. Yeah, that that is my worry. As I was talking about. earlier to you guys is that as a full-time employee yeah i work 36 hours a week for somebody and now when this regulation comes into effect now i've become a a bit of a liability you're gonna be down to 28 or so whatever right yeah um so there's uh so wait now when is that going to happen to you johnny ray i mean is that coming this month uh i mean how soon are they going to be bringing down the hammer Gonna have to let me get back to you on that. Okay. The, uh, so you haven't heard. They haven't said Johnny Ray. Your employer has not said Johnny Ray. This is it. Your last. You know. You haven't jumped through these hoops or whatever. So no, last year, my employer, when he was taking away my health insurance, he said, "Don't worry about it. Because of this new, uh, because of Obamacare, we're going to be forced to give you health insurance when that comes down the pike." But you know, he's he was probably lying to me. <laughs> I, he, it doesn't make any sense or for maybe them. Maybe that to, was his intention. And what this really is, they ran the numbers. It, okay, so the federal, so the federal and state governments have been deep in insurance companies' businesses for decades, and they've increased in um, you know, all the regulations and the things they do, and it bothers people to get dropped from their insurance. My mother got dropped from her homeowner's insurance recently in Florida a couple of years ago, and you know she was mad. She took all her business away from State Farm, and I we've been we've been State Farm um, people since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I still do all my stuff through State Farm because they've always just done a great job for us. But I, you know, it certainly made me feel bad when they dropped my mom too. Just never got around to changing anything. So, you know, people don't like that to get dropped. It, it feels very much like a breakup and, yeah, sure. and you don't have the coverage and that kind of thing. And certainly some people have been helped by this uh, this coverage mandate that comes down through the ACA. I mean, that's there's no doubt about it. They're able to get the insurance. But the fact is the federal government was messing with these insurance companies from the get-go. If they only ever just said, look, you've got to cover everybody, then... You know, the one regulation is probably something that insurance companies could have dealt with, but they just keep on pi- they keep on putting a new toothpick on top of the mm-hmm. the, the pile of toothpicks, and then they're going to complain when all the toothpicks fall down. Yeah, it started with with um, health insurance. Employer employer offered health insurance was a tax write off for the for the employer, I believe. Uh- and, and well, also there was a ninety percent tax bracket um, at at the, at the time that health insurance began. Not not to mention what you're talking. I'm, I I don't know what you're talking about specifically, but I'm not saying it's w- wrong. But there was also this tax bracket of ninety percent. So uh, uh, you would be taxed at a certain rate at ninety percent if if you made a certain amount of money. So that meant that 
Well, they might as well give you free health care and dental and optical because you could get that. You would get 100% of that money. I think that's more what I'm talking about, Mark. Do you have employees? Are you somebody who owns a business? How are you handling the Obamacare situation? Share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical Bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Did you know there's a way that could save you thousands on your credit card debt without going to a credit counseling organization or to a debt consolidation company? Did you know this same strategy could help you completely settle all of your debt fast? To unlock this vital information for free and to discover how much you could save, call now, 1-800-928-5394. At FDR, we're not going to explain this strategy on the radio. What we can tell you is, we've already helped thousands of Americans resolve over $2 billion in credit card and other unsecured debt. Why not add your debt to that? Again, to unlock this vital information to settling your debt as fast as possible, call 1-800-928-5394. If you're struggling with debt, this may be the answer you've been looking for. Call now. The bigger your debt, the more you need this vital free information. To find out how much money you could save, call 1-800-928-5394. Find out for free at 1-800-928-5394. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. Just dial on in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free line. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. 
with you in studio tonight. Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Uh, so we're going to go back into or into your phone calls and thoughts. You can join us on the phones. Also join us online. You can actually create the content you see there on the front page of the website. Listeners just like you, maybe even you, have submitted content right to the front page. It's voted up or down by other listeners. And in the aggregate, we will find out what you think is important, interesting, upsetting, outrageous, fun, whatever it is you want to submit, you can do that at freetalklive.com. Let's go to the phones and the fun. we got Dave in Nevada on the amp lines. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, good. What's up? Um, there, there's a couple things from this Affordable Care Act that I want to talk about that kind of concern me. I, I sure. read through sections of the bill. I mean, it's like a thousand pages. Sounds so awful. I didn't read through all of it. Yeah. But, um... First being data collection. So from what I understand, and I mean, of course, you know, the way they, they word things, it's not that easy to, you know, understand. But right. This is the baffling thing about this, Dave, is, is that, I mean, it not only is it a thousand pages, but it might as well be 10,000 because a lot of times you have to read and read and reread all of this stuff over and over again just to understand what the heck they're talking about when the way they write laws. Yeah, and, and, and I did, you know, the sections that concern me, I did read those over again because, yeah, I mean, the way that they, they write them or, you know, government speak or legal speak or whatever, it, it's, it's kind of crazy. But from what I understand, they want to look out outcomes and also make sure that people are getting sufficient care. Um, so from what I understood, they're going to be doing a lot of reviewing of data. So it, it, it seems like that basically the, the government's going to have access to all your medical records. I mean, they probably did anyway with all their spying, but now it kind of makes it, you know, legal for them to access all these, these records. That's for your own um, good, Dave. And I know... so, sorry? I said it's for your own good. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and, and the other thing was that it kind of, my doctor told me that in order to continue to accept Medicare, that she had to have all the records online. So now it's mm. easy to access all those records because everybody's putting them you know, online. Well, not everybody. Uh, so Isn't was- there some level of a push for free doctors, doctors who are uh, essentially walking away from the insurance system? They're going cash only, and they're able to lower their the fees that they're charging people, lower the well, uh, you know, yeah, not lower the regulations, put these people out of business, lower There's- the overhead. There's a hospital in Oklahoma that does that. Cash they, hospital? Yeah, they've got a like an a menu online for different mm. procedures. That's what we need to see more of. Is people just saying screw this, getting Medicare isn't worth the effort, it's not worth the hassle, it's not worth the obedience and the cost because I know we've talked to people on the in the medical field before and a great question to ask somebody who's in the medical field is how much of your day do you spend doing paperwork either for government or for insurance purposes but how much of your day in the office how many hours of the employees there and how many employees is full-time jobs are to do paperwork i mean it's an insane amount of yeah. uh, man hours that is just focused on paperwork not actually making people better or diagnosing problems or anything like that but just filling out required paperwork the surgery center of oklahoma i'm just i'm looking at their website now ankle achilles repair 5000 Seven hundred and thirty dollars. Dang, that's bilateral cheap. bilateral knee arthroscopy five thousand three hundred dollars. These are surgeries for five grand. Sounds see, like a deal. Once, yeah, once you get once you're in a situation where co- hospitals are actually competing with each other based mm-hmm. on price, you're gonna see you're gonna see innovation. You're gonna see uh, you know prices go down. This is what. The marketplace does. This is what supply and demand does. And the fact is that the government intervention in the healthcare industry over the course of decades, not what we had before Obamacare came in, because that wasn't the free market. At that point, yeah. something more than five, five out of, I think it was six cents on every healthcare uh, dime. So 60 cents in every healthcare dollar was spent by the government. How could you possibly call that a free market system? The free market had been perverted and subjugated for decades. We don't have any idea what the free market in in medicine might look like in this country. Yeah, Mark, going back to what you were saying before, what you and I were saying about the the advent of employee employer uh, offered or sponsored healthcare, uh, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research, there were there was a wage control issue during World War II. Ah. Labor was really tight. Everybody was off fighting a war. And for for whatever reason, the federal government issued well, wage controls. They didn't want people actually, companies competing for workers. 
Yep. Uh, I, maybe they didn't want people um, being enticed out of their the the the, the military. Yeah. Uh, so employers were not looking the military, for... but the the uh, military industrial complex that was producing the items in all likelihood. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so employers were looking for more creative ways to incentivize people to come work for them, and one of them was subsidizing their their health insurance. Uh, so so that became um, that that became a part of the work experience and a part part of a, a common wage package was was health insurance instead of people doing their own shopping mm-hmm and yeah. Dave is still with us I want to make sure he gets a chance to, to throw something <laughs> in here Dave I've forgotten all about you Thanks. Dave oh, I, I wanted to kind of re- reply to what you were saying and, and then just bring up the one other thing in the in the bill that concerned me um, there is something that I read about called it's like concierge doctors or something like that where say you know they have a set amount or they can't exceed a set amount of patients and then everybody pays you know a monthly fee so they say okay well we'll accept up to say 400 patients and everybody will pay like 200 dollars a month and we'll cover everything um the, the other thing was about the coding i'm uh, not about the bill but it made me think of you know what you guys were talking about that they redid all the the medical coding where they added like they, they got to some ridiculous amount of you know, as far as how how many different medical coding yep. uh, things there are, they're taking on the international specific, standard so. now. Yeah, well, it seems like they did it to get more specific as well. So you yep. can kind of tell a lot more from meta from just the code itself, where before, you know, it wasn't as specific. Um, and then the the other thing in, in the bill, um, real quick, was about the creation of this task force, which is the U.S. Preventative Service Task Force, uh, or prevent. Preventative Service Task Force, and they have all these listings or recommendations, and from what I understand, all these things are covered now by insurance, but they have some weird stuff, um, and, and, and I was going to just give one example real quick, but it seems like in the future, you'll have to get these things, or your, you know, it will make your insurance go up if you don't. And so, like, one of the things is intimate partner violence screening, women of childbearing age, so they recommend that all women have a screening for domestic violence, whether they've been a victim of domestic violence or they show signs of abuse or not. It actually says that this recommendation applies to women. Wow. So just to clarify, what? let me make sure I'm understanding abuse. what you're saying here, Dave. You're saying that in order to get certain discounts, uh, that they that they will uh, they're asking, <laughs> they're suggesting that uh, that every uh, female go to some sort of uh, domestic violence assessment session. Well, they're not, and not at this point, they're not saying, well, if you don't do this, you're going to get a discount. I'm just thinking in the future, because they're doing that now to a certain extent, like with my insurance at work, they say, are you a smoker? Or do you agree to live a healthy lifestyle? So they do have this task force, and they do have this recommendation that will be covered by insurance. The only thing is, they haven't yet said, well, if you don't follow all these recommendations, mm-hmm. you won't get a discount. But yeah. I, what I'm saying is, I foresee that happening possibly in That's the not, future. Yeah, it's not far it down also, the road. Yeah, it, does, it, it sounds completely believable because it's one of those sort of buzz things is uh, domestic violence. We'll tell you what, well, Mark, we'll also give you a discount if you'll let our assessor come in and check your pantry and make sure you're not hiding any uh, candies. Well, in what there. about child abuse? This is already huge in hospitals as they want to find out whether, you know, every energy, um, injury that a child is brought in with is child abuse. I was, I had a situation with Jack um, and we were, we do this thing where I, I, pick him up you know he he leans his chest on my hand i lift him up over my head and i mm. throw him onto the bed <laughs> um and it's not a spring bed so he doesn't bounce that high it's a uh uh, uh i don't know this n- nylon thing okay. uh, n- i've got the wrong term anyway it's this natural stuff that my wife has and it doesn't have that big uh, much spring to it but he landed wrong Ooh. you know and i mean he's six years old it's not as easy to do as when he was uh two two and loved it um and he landed wrong and he kind of hurt himself when he, he landed on his butt instead of his back and and oh, i see it's all his fault now well i mean he it certainly didn't help i mean both of us were you know this takes two to tango pal he landed wrong <laughs> um but now when if i took it had to take him to the hospital because this certainly went through my head all in an instant mm, you have to explain it and... right i mean you know is this child abuse it just really depends on the person who's listening mm-hmm. because it, it's all in their listening. If they think that, you know, men are dangerous or something like that. I mean, this is a big this is a big thing with a lot of people, especially a lot of women is are dangerous. You know, well, you know, you threw your kid across the room. 
Dave, thanks for your call, man. I appreciate the info tonight, the inside, since from somebody scoop from somebody who actually read uh, some of this law. Appreciate it. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts on this. Plus, Legos, are they tools of Satan? They are, according to one Polish priest. We'll share that story with you. Plus, uh, more with your calls here in moments. 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs... Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.79 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,285 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $484. The Washington Post reports the Obama administration is celebrating that it has achieved its downwardly revised goal of signing up more than 6 million Americans for Obamacare by 11.59 p.m. of March 31st. Mission accomplished, right? Not so much. The administration has not revealed how many of those 6 million people have actually paid their premiums. If not paid, they have not actually enrolled. It's like putting merchandise in an Amazon cart, but never clicking buy. Besides, the number that matters is not how many Americans signed up, but how many previously uninsured Americans signed up. By that standard, Obamacare may be headed for an epic failure. Recall that between 5 and 6 million Americans lost their health plans last fall. If the administration now succeeds in signing up 5 to 6 million previously uninsured Americans, it will have achieved nothing. Breaking even is no great accomplishment. And MSN.com reports a new poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation found that 6 in 10 uninsured Americans did not know about the March 31st deadline to sign up for coverage, and when reminded of the deadline and the fine for not getting covered, half of those who lack coverage as of mid-March said that they planned to remain uninsured. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. 
Antiwar.com reports, yesterday was a rough day to be a fish in the Yellow Sea, where North and South Korea took turns lobbing artillery shells along their disputed maritime border and took turns trading condemnation for doing so. An estimated 1,000 shells were fired jointly, which, if you check the calendar, means spring has officially arrived on the Korean Peninsula. Every year, South Korea and the United States have a major joint training exercise at the start of spring, and every year it leads to a flurry of dust-ups like this, followed with bellicose rhetoric. North Korean officials announced the live fire test hours before launching it, and most of their shells landed in their own water, with around 100 landing in the disputed area. South Korean officials saw the move as a deliberate provocation, noting North Korea rarely even announces its intentions to do such tests and just does them. They also suggested U.S. tensions with Russia had led North Korea to challenge them. The U.S. dubbed North Korea's fire dangerous and provocative. North Korea has also warned that it is planning a new kind of nuclear test, though whether this will amount to anything or is just another random spring claim remains to be seen. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Reuters reports security industry pioneer RSA adopted not one, but two encryption tools developed by the NSA. According to a team of academic researchers, this greatly increases the spy agency's ability to eavesdrop on some internet communications. Reuters reported in December that the NSA had paid RSA $10 million to make a now discredited cryptography system the default in software used by a wide range of internet and computer security programs. The system, called Dual Elliptic Curve, was a random number generator, but it had a deliberate flaw or back door that allowed the NSA to crack the encryption. A group of professors discovered that a second NSA tool exacerbated the RSA software's vulnerability. RSA did not dispute the research when contacted by Reuters for comment, but said it had not intentionally weakened security on any product. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. According to a report released today, the vast majority of American children lack the presence of a strong, sculpted male supermodel, with less than 4% of youngsters being taught the important values of respecting runway etiquette, maintaining a glistening six-pack, and walking a catwalk with verve and flair. The number of strong-jawed male supermodels in children's lives has declined to record lows, leaving the majority of our youth unaware of how to get comfortable in front of the camera during an underwear shoot, or even perform something as simple as a sexy but stylish full turn. Stanton went on to say that impoverished communities were especially affected by the lack of Adonis-like male figures and added that children in lower class homes were over 80% less likely to grow into the type of high cheekboned, studly he-men that succeed in haute couture society. Quite frankly, these children are just not getting the necessary influence of a dynamic male supermodel who can both make puppy dog eyes at the camera and also radiate that sort of raw, unabashed machismo that forces fashionistas to look up and take notice. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves right here toll free at 855-450. Free is Lego a tool of Satan? Is the story even something more than an April's Fool joke? Uh, we will find out more about that here in a few moments. We'll take your calls at 855-450. Free and with you in the studio tonight is Ian. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Let's go back to the phones and the fun. Uh, Fred is listening in California. You're on Free Talk Live. We've been talking about Obamacare throughout the first hour of the show. Fred, welcome to Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Yeah, well, thank you very much for taking my call and sure. for what you're doing. Um, I've been disabled since 87 and been under workman's comp in California, and it's a horror. And um, I'm pretty upset about this Obamacare for a number of reasons. One, it 
unconstitutional, and two, uh, how can you expect to enter into a contract with Obamacare when you do not know the terms of the contract? That's called a straw contract. Well, I don't know how the their website works, but aren't aren't they just broker it, brokering you a deal between the different uh, insurers? Well, they they're basically creating a monopoly of some sort, but uh, no, you can go through the insurers themselves if you want to. I mean, this is kind of like that, um, you know, this is kind of a, like an insurance agent that will look, will check different prices for you and show you the options and then let you choose between policies, as I understand it. I mean, they're well, obviously think, doing tax using taxpayer money, which is a problem. Right, but uh, what you need to understand is the uh, American Medical Association and the standard of care uh, – Oh, limits your position to a 20% profit. So if you go into a doctor's office and you tell the, the office manager, I don't have insurance, don't think for one moment they're going to kick you out. The physician is going to say, whoa, wait a moment here. Because the uh, standard of care, you know, puts up all sorts of procedures he can do. But he's limited to 20%. He knows he can make a lot more money by eliminating the unnecessary procedures and just focus in on the treatment that you need. I've known a lot of people that have walked into doctor's offices and they've been stopped from leaving because they know they can make more money out of the system. But um, somewhere along the line, this is going to have to be stopped. And uh, it, it's it's... It's pretty bad, but thanks for taking my call. Our pleasure, Fred. Thanks for sharing your thoughts here tonight. Uh, I do have some numbers about the Obamacare thing. And are they actually calling it that? Obamacare? Yeah. No, it's a- the ACA, the, Amer- the Affordable Health Care Act. Okay, because I'm looking here at uh, Time, the Time Magazine article. It's certainly we- a big a big name, though. I mean, that's certainly stuck with it. And they're they're right that— I thought that was like what the conservative talk show hosts were calling no, it. No, it's pretty much everybody's—I mean, that's the, the care is—the the, the term is almost universal at this point. Wow. Because, uh, yeah, what I'm looking at here is, uh, is the photo, the main photo on the Time Magazine article about the Obamacare individual mandate— and it shows a woman uh, sitting somewhere, uh, some sort of health office. It says, get ready for Obamacare. Uh, I don't know if that's you know something from her doctor's office or if it's actually some sort of official government information. But I guess what you're saying is the government agents will not be calling it that, but pretty much everybody else is. Pretty close. I mean, it, you have to kind of consciously – Obamacare is such a ubiquitous word at this point that you sort of have to consciously call it the Affordable Health Care Act. I mean, because right. it, its name seems like Obamacare. Story from the Washington Times says that a new poll shows that just 26 percent of Americans support Obamacare, but at the same time, only 13 percent think the law will be completely repealed. Uh, the Associated Press GFK survey was completed before the White House announced this week that it had signed up six million people for private health care plans. This was written, by the way, on the 28th. Uh, Six million people for private health care plans through the state and federal exchanges under the Affordable Care Act. A poll showed that seven out of ten Americans believe the law will stay on the books with some changes. The AP noted uh, that support for the law has dropped 13 percentage points since 2010, when 39 percent favored the law. Opposition also has dipped seven percentage points from 2010, when it stood at 43 percent. The number of people on the fence has tripled from 10 percent to 30 percent so it's but of course what those people on the fence have seen is a disastrously failed website mm-hmm. um when, when's this article from this is from just a few days ago the okay. 28th um you know i mean I'm, I'm surprised these people who are on the fence are still on the fence i mean this this is as far as i'm concerned the government just continues to show its incompetence in this and it it seems like people i, I mean I'd, i i guess i'm i ne- never cease to be stunned by what people will put up with from their governments i'm predicting a real id style fizzle it could be um now this is an interesting thing to bring up here johnny ray is, is in the real id uh what, what did it require people to do it required you the state governments to institute new federal yeah, mandates i thought it was like a universal standards for 
for yeah. driver's licenses, basically. Yeah, basically, universal standards for driver's licenses. Some states did it. it was, some states rebuffed it. It was uh, snuck through in the middle of the night, one of these tagged on back of the bill kind of things. Many state governments didn't like it because... There were all these mandates, but they came right. with no unfunded money. mandates, and so what you had at that point was essentially a uh, it was a, a, a state government revolt. They just refused to do it. Nope, we're not, we what we're, we're the government. We can't do anything that you don't give us tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars mm-hmm. to do. Sorry, and um, they just didn't do it. And what did the government do about it? You'd think they'd go down and arrest all these people in these state governments, but they didn't. So down from 39% uh, supporting the Obamacare in 2010, it's down now to 26%. That's a pretty statistically significant drop over time. Limited support for the law is similar to what the poll found in January when the number stood at 27%. Republicans hope that public opposition to the law will help them defend their House majority and pick up six net seats that they need to flip control of the Senate in the November midterm elections. However, again, the supermajority of people don't think it's going to go away, so I don't think anybody really believes that Republicans are going to save them. I can't say I'm... uh, My grandmother, many years ago... um, you know, basically said the smartest thing I've ever heard in politics is that she likes to see them mixed in the houses and the Senate and um, the White House because that way they can't get anything done. And when they say bar- bipartisan, you ought to grab, you know, you ought to grab your socks and run away um, because <laughs> that's when you know you're going to get it. Um, I, I don't want to see the Republicans by any means. And, and remember, I'm an elected Republican. I don't want to see the Republicans gain, uh, keep their house, gain six seats in the Senate and then put somebody in the White House. No way. The claims that that, that, that I've heard from uh, old Chuck Beaner today about what they're going to do in opposition to the um, the um, Affordable Care Act are really tepid. They're basically their battle cry is we're this. They're talking about the employer mandate and and the they they want to reduce no they want to increase the number of hours to to achieve full time status. They think thirty hours is um, <laughs> is is too small to declare somebody a full time employee. So they want to raise it. And that is their that's their contribution to the fight that's against we'll Obamacare. Really going well, to bat for the little guy there. The, well, the fact is, is you're not going to get this undone once Social Security got it got instituted. I mean, unless you see a, a whole like what you're talking about, Johnny Ray, just a wholesale, uh, you know, people just refusing to to, to participate on the wholesale. Well, and what if the feds or the not the feds, but the state government refuses to participate? Isn't there some level of complicity they have to have in this? You know, um, like running a website. I don't think they have to have any complicity. They can, is really what it comes down to. Yeah, they can stand in the way, and certainly some of them have been trying to do that. There's there's a lot of speed bumps on or road bumps on the 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 way the way to implementation here. But I mean, think about trying to get Social Security undone. Here is a program that is it is a terrible way to set aside money for your retirement. Um, It is racist in that it uh, supports rich white women over poor black men. Um, And this program, you couldn't possibly get this thing undone because it's just such a part of people's lives. Toll free number tonight, 855-453-FREE. Something that's a part of a lot of young people's lives are Legos. I know I had them when I was young, and uh, Mark is, uh, Jack's pretty into Legos. Oh, yeah, he is. So we'll uh, come back. Apparently, one Polish priest claims they are a tool of Satan. Is this an April Fool's story? We will find out here in moments. It's Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee, and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. 
you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Amanda Bosold here from Midas Resources. Today, April 1st, 2014, gold opened at 1284.30. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1331.07, 665.53 for a half ounce, or 332.77 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's 1331.07, 665.53, and 332.77. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, toll free number 855-453. That's 855-450-450. 3733, we've got Skype. Skype on in to the show. Username LRN.FM. Uh, you do have to send a contact request first. It will be approved. So, again, go to uh, freetalklive.com. You can get interactive with us there. And, again, Skype username LRN.FM. Freeross.org. Ross Ulbricht is the man who is accused of operating the underground black market, the infamous underground black market, the first of its kind, Uh, that did business with Bitcoin. You could buy virtually anything. There were some exceptions to things you couldn't, uh, certain things you could not buy there. But eh, if you want to buy a bunch of illegal drugs, it was no problem on the Silk Road. And so he's been charged with uh, various different so-called crimes. Of course, they don't actually involve a victim like, you know, (coughs) uh, selling drugs or uh, or money laundering, for instance. He's facing these uh, charges, and of course, we don't really know if he actually was Dread Pirate Roberts, the operator of the Silk Road. That's just the claim of the FBI. If he wasn't Dread Pirate Roberts, then he may be a man wrongfully accused. And if he was, then he's uh, he's a hero because he created something that helped the black market become a safer place. If you think the war on drugs is insane, please take the time to go to freeross.org. This guy 
is uh, somebody worthy of support. His family doesn't have a lot of money, and he certainly doesn't have access to uh, to any bitcoins inside a prison cell. To the money that he earned. Because the feds have taken, I don't remember how many, hundreds of thousands of bitcoins, but they took a lot of bitcoins from this raid, or so they claim. And so you can help him by going to freeross.org, and there are, of course, there's a Bitcoin way to donate, there's PayPal, you can cut him a check. Freeross.org, help out Ross Ulbricht and his family with the, uh, the probably very, very expensive defense bills they're going to be mounting up here. Freeross.org. Uh, 855, 450 free. So, of course, today being April 1st, uh, I guess in some places in the world it is no longer April 1st, but in certain time zones it still is. And there have been a number. Here in the West, we're still hanging on to April first. Yep, uh, there have been a number of you know always fun, entertaining April's Fool pranks that you'll see online. You know, I, I, color me unentertained. I'm just not entertained by this. I mostly um, they're clawing, sad attempts. Uh, the ones that are effective. Uh, only see uh, only succeed in uh, you know adding chafe to the sky of me being unable to find out what the real news is. I just don't. Mm-hmm. I just don't think lying to people is funny. Every so you're once over in this. A while, Were you ever into April's Fool? M- yeah, maybe you know. You- Probably when I was younger and more mm-hmm. juvenile, I thought it was uh, was interesting. But I I'm totally over it. I gotta too, say, too mature. I just April's I'm Fool. just not interested anymore. I mean, no. Thanks. Does Jack, your son, your six-year-old son, uh, understand April's Fool? I haven't, I haven't, haven't even considered explaining to him an, a holiday where you lie to your friends and confuse them. <laughs> yeah, I never paid attention to April Fool's Day until I got in the, until I was in high school, and I have a twin brother, and he and I would switch classes on April Fool's Day. That's a good one. So our teachers didn't know <laughs> until you know maybe when we were juniors and seniors. I think they were all expecting it. And then ever since then, I've pretty much just ignored it. It rolls around, and and usually I find out about all the April Fool's gags after they've been un- uncovered. Well, there's usually some sort of top ten, right? You can go and, and at least decide what, or you can read what one person's decision was as to what some of the best ones oh, were. I'm sure there's some great gags out there. The, I, the, ones, the, the ones that surprised me, or the ones that surprised me today, were... <laughs> People dropping bombs about um, some horrible health event that had happened to them, and then you're shocked, like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then, ah, April Fool's. When I saw my Facebook feed with uh, the the top three things where somebody got engaged, somebody got married, and somebody got engaged, I'm like, wow, that's a lot of people. Wait a second. And that's how long yeah. it took me. And then yeah. I, and then, and then my whole days basically trying to play defense what's against everybody's stupid not. post. I just yeah. don't, you know. Thanks. I, I essentially didn't go through Facebook. Um, you know, I spent less time on Facebook as a result of this. I thought there Maybe, was a cute one on freeteen.com uh, where they posted that they had gotten a cease and desist letter from Walt, the Walt Walt Disney Corporation. But that, okay, um, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. It's because Robin Hood uses the fox from Robin Hood, Walt That's Disney's right. Robin Hood, and that was up there. And I thought that was the most well done, but because it was the most well done, it was the one most likely to confuse people and yeah. me. Like, I wasn't 100% sure I'm confused. I mean, what did you succeed in doing? What have you provided the world by messing with your friends in this way? Well, you're not necessarily messing with your friends if you're posting something on Free Keen. There are people who don't like Free Keen that read Free Keen. But regardless, you're messing with your readers. You're messing with your audience. And uh, it's kind of the same reason why I run the Onion Radio News. I spent... Uh, most of the day today, the bulk of the day, cutting up the. If you know it's a joke, video. then it can. Then you can enjoy well, the hold fun. On. You don't know necessarily that's a, that it's a joke. That's kind of the fun of running fake news, and at least from my perspective, as the program director of LRN.FM, it's my my intention to put the Onion fake sat, uh, satirical news in butting up right against the legitimate news. So that's just to mess with people, straight but up. If, if you know what The Onion is, then you'll be entertained by it. But if, if you, you don't, listen you'll be to one news report, you will know what the, the problem is. If the, if, the, huh? if the joke contains the fact that you're being fooled within the joke, then... Um, then there's no. Then you mean not like a an April Fool prank, like where it says April Fool at the end? Or well, something yeah, like, that? like you know, one of those situations. But if you get people all the onions, don't do that. They just they ba- identify the onion at the end. They basically do that. Um, no, they don't. Take a listen to them. All you have to do is have one active brain cell to realize that the onion is a joke. Okay, I think that uh, you understand as well as anybody else that people who are listening to the radio. 
uh, have variety of intellect. They uh, many of them do not understand what the onion is. Many have probably never heard of the onion. And yes, while some onions are certainly obvious satire, there may be others where people are just sort of half listening in the car, uh, and you know they're hearing some sort of report that sounds bizarre and completely unbelievable, but. Maybe they believe it because it sounds well produced and newsy. I don't know. Look, I'm not ready to let. I mean, you've seen go. the people. Uh, there's been news stories out there, Mark, about uh, like uh, television stations, politicians taking Onion articles and acting as though they're legitimate. It's funny when they do it because it's there. You know, these things are so over the top in the stuff they claim. You and I think so, but we know what the Onion is, and maybe we would figure it out if we didn't know what the well, Onion is. But they didn't figure it out. The example that uh, comes to mind is the Chinese news. Paper and the edit, the, the, they had run an onion story about how Kim Jong Un was it's voted the sexiest man in uh, in, in the right. in the East or something like that. I can't remember what they they did, but um, they really loved that. And okay, I guess there's certain circumstances when people sort of outside my peer group or whatever in language group, yeah, whatever it is, uh, you know, they fall for the joke. I'm willing to go for that, but. You know, I mean, most of this stuff was just lame. Um, you and mean today's posts? Yeah, just what I was seeing. What I was seeing for um, for April Fool's jokes weren't funny, mm. and they didn't right. do anything. So give us the good ones. Uh, either call and tell us about them, the ones you saw today that were funny or they, they were really well produced. Would love to hear your opinions. You can call in or post them on our Facebook page. I'll ask a question here in a little bit on Facebook. What were the best online... Uh, stuff you can link to to show us. Uh, what were the best April's Fools or April? I always have trouble with this. April's Fool. April pranks? Fools. It's. Can you do Just it both say ways? the S to the M. April Fools Day. Um, yeah, I consider April Fools Days to, to, to be a challenge to me and my intellect. Um, they, they're like, really? This is your joke? Yuck. We'll come back with more at eight fifty five four fifty three. It's free talk live. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Work, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com this is mark of free talk live we've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country with a printing press tethered to washington bureaucrats and new york central bankers how can we trust paper money for years i've been buying gold and silver from midas resources and you should too call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 reasons to own gold or go to gold.freetalklive.com again 877-357-9938 877-357-9938. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. A prison reform group issued a disturbing new study this week calling conditions in women's correctional facilities deplorably unsexy. The report contends that women's prisons are bleak, dangerous environments with shockingly few soapy showers and erotically charged pillow fights. According to the Prison Justice Initiative, quote, It's a shame that in today's society we still have jails that don't encourage kittenish girl-on-girl -girl exploration. Prison shouldn't be a hotbed of gang violence and drugs. It should be a steamy Shangri-La where caged nymphets discover the sexuality away from the leering eyes of male society. The investigation revealed living conditions that many are calling cruel and degrading, but not in a fun or kinky way. The study's author argues that incarceration should be about more than just punishment. The purpose of prison isn't just to lock people in a box and forget about them. It's to provide opportunities for naughty girls to play nice with each other. Next up, a team of jock scientists have reportedly thrown the cure for asthma onto the roof of the lab. We'll talk to the nerds struggling to retrieve it. This is the Onion News Network. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control right here. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. You can bring up anything you would like. And you can also join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. And we've got a mobile site for those of you with a smartphone. Just go to m, like mobile, dot freetalklive.com. You can get quick access to our live streams. And now the webcam, which is viewable for the first time on mobile. People have been asking about that, and I finally experimented. It took a number of hours and several contacts uh, to tech support to figure out how to make it work, and it now works when you're visiting through your web browser. Go to m.freetalklive.com. You can click the webcam link there. That'll take you to the regular cam page. So if you want, you can just go to cam.freetalklive.com in your mobile browser. Click the window where you normally would to play the cam, and, and it should start working for you. So enjoy. Uh, go to m, like mobile.freetalklive.com for our live streams, the audio streams, and the webcam. Uh, Leader Amp is a program that's science-based that is intended to help you to be more productive, to be more convincing in your speech. Now, there's a lot of uh, programs out there, mostly books, advice on how you can be, you know, develop your uh, persuasion skills and, and, and that sort of thing. And there's not a lot of testing for effect uh, in the industry at all. But LeaderAmp endeavors to, in fact, do just that. They're gonna they're gonna test you on you know quantifiable scales they're going to show you how to get better in those arenas they're going to rank you against um you know sort of people in history and i think it's really a great idea that's why i signed up for it who doesn't want to be more persuasive in their speech this helps anybody who's in in the world i don't care whether you're trying to be a more effective inside your organizations your your civic organizations your job uh you know you're in sales whatever it is if you can uh, communicate more effectively you're going to be better at what you do you're going to help people more and that's why i signed up for leader amp and you can too just go to uh, sign up for their pre-order at their in the, in their indiegogo campaign through We've shortened this for you and make it easy for you. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. And amp your leadership. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Dave. He's in New Hampshire. Uh, Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Hey, Dave. Hey. What's on your mind tonight? Well, I just wanted to, <laughs> I guess the state rep thought I was playing a joke on her today. I, I, I did one of my, uh, you know, Ridley Rampages where I go to the state house and I'll try to ambush interview 15 different politicians in one go awesome one bit and um i hadn't been up there in about six months to uh the state house i think and so maybe they i don't know what what happened but today i got more pushback uh more nasty 
reaction, I think, than I've ever gotten before. I love it. I and love yeah. it when you go. This is Dave Ridley, by the way, from RidleyReport.com. He does great video work. I love it when you go in and you hold those politicians accountable, Dave, because you're one of the only people who will do it. Uh, we need more people like you getting up there and you know asking tough questions of these people on video. I, I appreciate you doing that. Well, you've done it some. You're one of the few others that does it. And, yeah, I wish that a lot more people would do it because it's one of those things you can do by yourself. But, um, but yeah, it was just really shocking. The, uh, the kind of, I mean, I had the security called on me twice. I had a door slammed on me twice, and then doors shut on me another three times. And then I had, uh, um, I had someone threaten what would happen to me if I put the video on YouTube, a lobbyist. Did wow. This? That what would happen? <laughs> yeah, what would happen? And, and when is it going up? I watched the video. It's already up. All right. <laughs> but basically, yeah, a, a lobbyist just uh, went off on me for taking her picture. And she was just walking down the hall. I'm just sitting there. She's walking down the hall. I take her picture. And, you know, I've taken lobbyist pictures before because they're yep. part of the news process. In As fact, a matter of fact, these people in, in New Hampshire, the lobbyists have to wear this like orange tag, like hunting orange tag mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, to identify <laughs> them as lobbyists. I would think that that for the purpose of that is so that you can know who they are. And I mean, yes. that's that's why you took their picture. But they still get out of it too easy because it's hard. It's, despite the, the tag, it's still hard to pin them down. You don't know what they stand for, what they voted for, what they're doing. It's all kind of quiet, behind-the-scenes, whispery stuff. They don't testify generally. So if they really, most of them, I think, get a pretty easy pass for that reason mm -hmm. from people like me who ask questions. So you went in there, you recorded a bunch of video, got a lot of doors slammed in your face, people being very, very rude. I and mean, that's going to be good for your views, I have a feeling, Dave Ridley. So this is good news. Well, yeah, that's what I was telling one of the, one of the security guys was talking to me. I was like, yeah, this is, you know, he said, how's your day going? I said, well, it's going worse than usual and better than usual. Yeah. Right. But the, the part that I, the part that I know when I talk about April Fool's, there was, uh, I, I've been going to, I'm trying to go up to state reps and turn myself in to be arrested, basically. Oh. Because they, they mostly voted in favor of this minimum wage, right? And I've violated the minimum wage law. Hmm. So, you know, because I, I paid somebody less than, minimum wage to do something. And so I've been going up to them asking if they'd like to cuff me, turning myself in. And uh, I, I've only gotten to one so far, and then the, the rep uh, just just freaked out when I did that, basically. <laughs> so you'll see that on video. Well, right. They don't do that dirty work. That's the police's job. Yeah. They're legislators. <laughs> So, Dave Ridley, um, uh, you know, what's, how's everything else going for you? RidleyReport.com, it's been a little while. I mean, you guys, you're still cranking out the videos? Yeah, it's still profitable because I don't spend any money on it, basically. Now, weren't you gone for a little while? Right weren't now, you uh, down in Colorado? Yep, I was visiting Colorado. got family there. Uh, but actually, while I was there, I picked up a new camera. It's not new. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a different camera, basically. But it's got a light on top of it, and I think that may uh -huh. have something to do the kind of reaction I was getting. Um, it's a real low wattage light. It's just enough to kind of light a, an interview, but um, it may have it may have sparked the the extra backlash that I'm not used to getting. A possibility. Now. Okay, so technical question, Dave. Does your new camera is it still a DV tape? Because I know for the longest time you'd been running on this old technology DV tape from like the turn of the century. Have you upgraded? This is a crazy thing. It's older. Oh, it's no. from probably about two years earlier, like it's probably two thousand two technology. And but it looks better. And um hmm. part of the part of it's from ha having the light on top of it. And if also there's exposure issues with the camera that I had before. So the problem with I did get a camera in two thousand eleven that was a two thousand and eleven camera. Yeah. But the problem with that is there's many problems with new technology, and one of them is when you hit press the record button, it doesn't start recording for a second or two, and it wants to make 50 files whenever you go out and shoot. You come back with 50 or 60 files, hmm. which is a pain. It's just it's still easier to use the old method. You think so? I mean, I, I upgraded to uh, to an SD based camcorder that's uh, you know flash flash memory based. Uh, camcorder back in 2009, and I would never go back to DV tape because with uh, with DV tape or any other kind of tape, you literally are 
you know, you're dubbing video into a system. Whenever you're, you're essentially, you're not downloading the video, you're you're playing it back in real time as you're encoding it into uh, into your system. Whereas with uh, with an SD based or a hard drive based camera, you literally are just dealing with files, and you can move those any which way you like on your computer. It makes it a whole lot easier to offload video. Uh, but if you're if you're happy with the, uh, the at least there's an upgrade in quality, that's that's good to know, Dave. Are you shooting in in widescreen now? Or are you still the old full frame format? I still don't see a way to switch to widescreen. Um, the, <laughs> but wouldn't you want full frame? Maybe I'm just maybe what? I'm just a uber luddite. But there are all kinds of problems associated with playing the widescreen game. Yeah, let, let me um, ask you, uh, Ian here. I've got a question. Why would you want widescreen when it just cuts down on the uh, the screen area in YouTube? I mean, if e- it, 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 it doesn't cut down the screen area, YouTube is built for widescreen. It's built for widescreen now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, so that's not my, been my experience. Dave, my offer still stands for uh, for the the camera, but we should talk about that off the air. I appreciate your call I, tonight. I have a question yeah. for Dave before we Please. before we go, and it's about photography in general. Okay, what is the relevance of photography going forward when technology is going to allow us to create lifelike, uh, you know, photorealistic video? That's a pretty big question, Dave. Do you have time to answer it? Yeah, we'd probably... All right, hang on. Not right now. Hang on. We're going to bring you back. 855 450 free. I want to make sure he has time. Plenty of time. Coming up here in moments. More with Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the Liberty Media Capital of the World, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com.
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Uh, You can bring up whatever you want. We are joined by Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. We're going to get back to his call and his thoughts here in a few moments. Uh, Toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. We also have Skype. Skype on in at username lrn.fm. You can bring up what you want. Still to come, one Polish priest is allegedly claiming that Lego is a tool of Satan. That's right. Your child's favorite toy, or one of them, likely, is a tool of Satan. Now, I wondered, is this an April Fool's prank? We'll get your thoughts here in a moment. We'll share the story and share whatever background we can on this to uh, see if we can ascertain what the truth is here with this story. But you can also bring up anything. We do have Dave Ridley with us from RidleyReport.com. He is a one-man amazing news video, agency video journalist yeah just a news agency all wrapped up into one guy uh professionally trained videographer but he uses consumer level camera equipment and what is really one of the highlights of uh, dave ridley's work is that or the, the strengths of the work is that there's a lot of quality and quantity he doesn't really put any effort into editing but just the fact that he's out there he's ballsy enough to confront politicians he gets some really amazing footage, and it's a really kind of a window into the world of, of some activism here in New Hampshire. Although a lot of stuff that Dave does doesn't have anything to do with what the other activists are doing here in New Hampshire. And Dave, you referenced a trip to the State House that you took today. Uh, maybe there were some liberty activists that were at the State House, but they didn't know you were going to show up. And you confronted uh, a, a number of politicians, and they were not very happy about it. Uh, Johnny Ray had a question for you right before about photography, right before we went away. And Johnny Ray, can you recap that question for those just tuning in? Sure. With uh, as technology grows and our ability to render things on computers, it, we can really almost create real life photorealistic videos. And you know, I wonder when people can effectively spoof real life. Is video going to be a credible uh, document of real life? Will people probably, be able to believe what well, they see? What will probably happen is there will be a window of opportunity that will close on us eventually with this use of video. Uh, but I think we also have to expect that we'll go through a period where you people can do they can recreate two dimensional video or make real you know realistic looking two dimensional video but they can't make 3D, like fake 3D, fake three-dimensional video won't work. So three-dimensional cameras will probably become the tool that you have to film something with to verify that it really happened, and a, and a, a video camera might not be much better than a still camera, you know, in terms of credibility eventually. But that's probably at least five or six years off. Yeah, yeah, I suspect it's a ways off, but I also suspect it'll be it'll happen before I expect it will. I mean, you might might be able to pull it yeah. off with a fairly large budget and a huge computing, you know, Pixar style computer server room to render things, but even today, the best video games still don't look photorealistic. They're darn close, but you can still discern the difference uh, between a video game cutscene, for instance, and uh, which, you know, there's a lot, a fair amount of money that goes in developing those video game cutscenes and real life. Yeah, there's something... Uh, go ahead, Dave. 
Oh, thanks. Well, I mean, if you look at the way people treat still photos right now, it's pretty easy to manipulate still photos, and yes. yet a still photo can still be considered very important evidence, and you don't find a lot of people on, you know, Flickr or whatever, um, uh, making a lot of fake photos. There are some, um, but it's just not, it's not like fake photography hasn't really taken over and, the, you know, the the uh, fear that a photo might be fake doesn't seem to be super big. I mean, it's going to be pretty tough for me, even if I have some sort of source material of, let's say, Dave, you went to the State House today, you confronted State House people. These are politicians, they're available in public, it certainly would be possible to take their photographs use those photos or use video clips of them in some other way. But it's going to be pretty difficult to fake. Let's say the state politician uh, was yelling at you and slammed a door on you. It's going to be pretty f- hard for you to manipulate that into the, the state politician flipping you the bird, telling you to F off and that your mother's ugly. I mean, it's going to be – that's a there's, there's a lot of work involved in that, and it's still going to look pretty hokey, uh, I think, if, if somebody does try to pull that off. Well, and they do so much bad stuff anyway. Why do? Why would we need to enhance it? Sure. Right. And that's really the point is, is what's the value in what you're talking about? I mean, you can, uh, what Johnny Ray's talking about, at this point, there doesn't really seem to be the value. I think you can probably create some really good fakes out there um, today if you have the time and the energy to do it. But, you know, what are you, what are you going to get out of it? Any other thoughts, Dave? Of you want to credibility. Yeah, right. Dave, thank you yeah, for uh, in level. Sorry about oh, that. Reduction in level of credibility. Dave, put the sandwich down, push the beer away from you, <laughs> and answer the questions. He's doing great work out there. Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. Looking forward to seeing the new videos uh, going up on your channel as we speak. Appreciate your call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. He's been here a long time. Dave Ridley, Dave Ridley moved was before we did. A long time before we yeah. did. I remember him calling when we were still back in the – when we were doing Free Talk Live on as a weekend show. Um, he was wow, wow. he was calling us in ago. the 1220 WIBQ, which no longer exists. No it's kidding. Now, now WSRQ down in Sarasota, Florida, when we were in their Main Street studios. Mm. That's how – because I remember him calling with his, uh, his poetry. He was – was going to do uh, limericks or something for a while. I mean, this has been many, wow. many years ago. He's been up here a long time. That's like time. a decade then. He, yes. was one of, he was one of the first movers for the Free State Project, which, of course, is the reason why we're all here. Uh, Johnny Ray, you moved from Asheville, North Carolina. Yep. Uh, Mark and myself moved from the west coast of Florida. Right, and this is the other thing. He moved from Massachusetts, though. <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he, picked, a, he yeah. picked up and moved 25 miles north, <laughs> you know, so... Uh, then people- he ended up leaving his, uh, I think he was working for Fox down there for yeah. a while as a professional video editor. He ended up leaving that job, and he does the Ridley Report as his full-time gig right now, as I he understand He does it. some other work, but yeah. So go to freestateproject.org. If you want to get together with activists, the quality, the caliber of Dave Ridley and uh, all the other great people that we talk about off and on here on this radio program, you really need to check out the Free State Project. It just crossed 15,555 participants just the other day. We want to reach 20,000 participants. These are people who have pledged, like we did, to make the move to New Hampshire. And the pledge is generally that they'll move when the Free State Project reaches that 20,000 number, that there's a five-year window of time in which all of the uh, the signers have to make that move. We moved early because I was excited about the things that were happening here, partially because of what Dave was doing. Uh, the things that were happening here in New Hampshire really got me jazzed up. I wanted to come sooner rather than later. Johnny Ray, I imagine that was similar a similar experience for you. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's just so much happening here already, uh, and and this, so kind of the early movers have been coming in for the last decade. There are new people coming here every single month, not to Keene necessarily, but all across New Hampshire. A lot of people moving into Manchester. There's people moving into the seacoast, Concord area, out into small towns as well, and of course out here in Keene. There's just so many different choices, so many great people, over 1,500 liberty-minded activists are already here as part of the Free State Project. People are getting elected. Uh, People are actually stopping bad legislation. Not all of it is being stopped. There was some sort of Obamacare thing, I guess, that went through the state house a week or two ago. 
I'm not really sure what that all entailed. But there also are you know, some really great news from the legislature, like a, a repeal of the knife ban. That happened a few years back. More recently, the uh, jury nullification law, which actually enshrines the right of, uh, of a defendant or a defense attorney to actually talk about jury nullification to a jury during a trial, and of course other things that are just stopped dead in their tracks, other increases to the propo- proposed increases to the state that are just crushed because we actually have liberty-oriented state representatives here in New Hampshire. So add to that all the great civil disobedience in the media, like the Ridley Report, like Free Talk Live, media that's being created here on a regular basis, television, radio, newsprint. I mean, we've got the most exciting liberty movement out there. And if you haven't taken the time to look at it, please go to freestateproject.org, check out the website, and join us for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's coming up this summer, late June. Um, I'm planning on being there and looking forward to seeing over 1,500 people. That's a, I think that's a reasonable prediction. It's yeah. been a solid 1,500 for the last couple of years. You know, We may be cracking 2,000 this year, but at least probably 1,500 liberty-oriented people all hanging out at the same campground together. It's toward the very end of June. Go to Porkfest.com to learn more about it. Grab your early bird tickets at Porkfest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T. Dot com. Ian, when I was down in North Carolina, I was really dismayed about the 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 level of awareness amongst my peers and the people I talked to. Mm-hmm. The level of awareness of of freedom itself. Nobody nobody understood what it meant at all. To some people, freedom was an an entitlement to a college education or Republicans being in office. <laughs> right, and and I wanted to to make a difference with my life and i so i came up here to be with people who knew what freedom actually was was it worth it without a doubt all right more coming up here in moments check out freestateproject.org hour three is on the way is lego a tool of satan that's apparently what one polish priest has to say and also is the story even true it's free talk live remember how bad your allergies were last year <laughs> When they hit again, be prepared with new Nasacort Allergy 24-Hour, the first full-strength 24-hour prescription nasal spray available without a prescription. Unlike antihistamines, it blocks more of the body's chemical responses that cause nasal allergy symptoms, relieving the worst of them, including congestion, for 24 hours. New Nasacort Allergy 24-Hour stops more of what makes you miserable. Use as directed may take up to one week of daily use to feel the most symptom relief. Here's something you don't hear on the radio every day. Someone who can't see. I am totally blind, and I go through periods where I'm unable to sleep at night and feel like I'm constantly running but can never quite catch up. But this isn't a sleep problem. It's something called non-24. Learn about the link between total blindness and your symptoms. Visit learnmorenon24.com or call 855-856-2424. Sponsored by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, March 31st, 2014. Gold open today at $1,294, silver open at $19.93, and Bitcoin is trading at $462.34. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Online at affordablesound.com or call them 512-459-5253. Support also comes from Sovereign BTC. 
media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Online at SovereignBTC.com. And support comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights at 9 o'clock central at CoreyMooreShow.com. In the news, on Sunday afternoon, enraged Albuquerque citizens gathered outside of police headquarters to protest the March 16th killing of James Boyd at the hands of the APD. Body camera footage from the APD shows officers unloading beanbags, stun guns, and live ammunition on Boyd. Protesters marched for around eight hours, calling on the APD chief to be fired. Around 9.30 p.m., the police began firing tear gas canisters, claiming the demonstrators were vandalizing property. A sweeping reform bill was approved by Greek officials as over 10,000 citizens rallied in Athens to protest the latest international loans for the faltering nation. The reforms were debated in a fast-track two-day session, leading protesters and lawmakers to push back against the bailout from the European Commission, the European Central Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. More than 30 people are killed in the capital of the Central African Republic, leading the UN to call for more forces to be dispatched to that area. It happened when peacekeeping soldiers from Chad opened fire on civilians over the weekend. The soldiers were returning from a mission in the country's interior when their vehicle was hit by a grenade, and they began shooting into a nearby crowd. Al Jazeera reports it's unclear how many have been killed in the country since violence started in December. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, home of one of the first Bitcoin ATMs in the country where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Visit the ATM at 321 West White Boulevard, number 203. And support for Liberty Meat also comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwest Burritos with homemade tortillas, online at CaboBob's.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, March 31st, 2014. Check out the website, thelibertybeat.com. According to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, the company is preparing to expand by providing Internet access to the entire world. Using solar-powered high-altitude planes and low-orbiting satellites, the Facebook Connectivity Lab plans to deploy and deliver reliable Internet connections. Zuckerberg stated that his company is already working with many of the world's leading experts in aerospace and communications technology, including researchers from a British company called Ascenta that helped create the world's longest solar-powered drone. 122 world leaders were targeted by the NSA. That's according to a Der Spiegel and the Intercept newspaper report based on documents leaked by Edward Snowden. Along with German's chancellor, other leaders of other foreign countries specifically named as NSA targets are Peru, Somalia, Syria, Guatemala, and Colombia. The report also states that the United States intelligence counterpart in Britain targeted three German companies for surveillance. Add yet another failure to the many experience since the rollout of Obamacare. People trying to apply and enroll for private health insurance before Monday's midnight deadline found it impossible. That's because the healthcare.gov website again malfunctioned, leaving would-be users in the dark. NBC News reports the site began functioning in a limited capacity at one point, but was still unable to allow actual sign-ups. Support for Liberty Beat comes from growyourowngroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online at bitmaintech.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, March 31st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. While getting drinks after work with a group of co-workers, local shipping clerk Russell Chambliss told reporters Wednesday night he was unsure whether he was bonding with his male associates or being mercilessly bullied by them. I'm pretty sure that Bill called me limp dick earlier, and Todd keeps punching me in the shoulder. Pretty hard, too. 
I can't tell if it's their way of letting me feel like I'm part of the group or making me feel bad about myself. Chambliss said while his co-workers verbally demeaned him and even made him feel physically threatened at various points in the evening, they did so with large smiles on their faces, making it extremely unclear if his co-workers enjoyed his company or wanted him to leave the bar. Well, I told Jeff about this problem that I was having with my girlfriend, and he called me a pussy and then walked away. But then, like five minutes later, he came back with a beer that he had bought for me. What does that even mean? Apparently, I'm invited over to Todd's house for dinner this weekend. I guess that'll be fun. For more on this story, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything if you want. Otherwise, we'll talk to you about stuff. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. That's 855-450-3733. And, you know, some people were encouraging us to do some sort of April Fool's prank. We did that once upon a time, like, 10 years ago on Free Talk Live. I don't think you were there for it, Mark. I think it was after you had left the show Mm. the first time uh, when, you know, you were gone for a period and... Kind of our second season, if you will, where we brought Todd in to uh, to do the show. I was fired. There was a there was a scene where uh, we had some sort of fake fight in the studio or something like that. That's the last time I remember us doing an April Fool's prank. You know, somebody was suggesting we should say that we're going to be leaving New Hampshire, and you know, it just seems kind of it seems kind of trite, like overdone. Are we really going to fool people with that on this particular You'll day? You'll fool some people, but you will, I guess. I just don't want to fool people. Yeah. So, I mean, I want to tell jokes, I want to be funny, but I don't want to fool people. Speaking of pranking people, Ian, I haven't listened to Phil's new show yet. Do you Thumbs Phil up, Hendry. thumbs down. Phil Hendry's new show. Yeah. Yeah, man. I linked you to it on uh, my Facebook profile the yep, other day. Yep. I started to listen to it. haven't finished it. Phil Hendry uh, is somebody who I find to be a, a really talented character. Johnny Ray, you and I share this, basically the same opinions. Yeah, I think he's a genius. I think he's one of the finest comedians of our time. And you know, he's moved to a daytime show for the first time in forever. Uh, Phil is usually kind of in the nighttime hours when he was working in the radio business, uh-huh. and he's doing, I think, noon to th- whenever. He just in- ends it whenever he wants, I guess, <laughs> noon to two or something like that, Eastern time every day. Phil Hendry is, uh, Mark is not a fan of the Phil Hendry Not experience, particularly, now. But I consider him to be just a brilliant uh, radio show host because he actually talks to himself for the whole show. And what I mean by that is he has characters that he plays. Um, he will bring on five characters at one time. And it's and, all him. And Right, all have a conversation now, with I'll himself. I'll say he's talented, by the way. I'm just not not It's not your kind of radio, huh? It's not your show kind of show. Yeah, it's a, yeah, and, and he'll interrupt himself. It's yes. amazing. With different voices. Right. Um, now, the thing that I, I, I've only listened to about half one of his new episodes because I've, I've been busy doing other things. But uh, I used to be a subscriber to his website many years ago, like a decade ago, and I had a lot more time to listen to stuff. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't think that he's gotten back to the old ways because he can't take calls from the kind of the clueless radio listeners. So for those that don't know the setup of The Phil Hendry Show, he when he was on the radio, he would bring in a guest, so take some sort of issue of the day. Uh, there was one recently, I think one of the ones in the episode I was I was listening to, uh, was the the lost plane, the plane that had been lost for what two weeks or something yeah. like that. Um, so he was going to bring in J- uh, Jay Santos from the Citizens Auxiliary Police or something like that, and just he just has these ridiculous characters that come in and say outrageous things, and a lot of times they're in relation to real news stories. So Phil kind of sounds like a real news talk show, sure. bringing on some guests to talk about some issue, and then if you're listening for to it for the first time and you're not in on the joke, which is that. Phil is the guest and the host, uh, then you might think that this person is real. This guest like is real. Like a real misogynist or and a real right. nut job saying they have a really crazy opinion. Yeah. And people will be like, outraged. They'll pick up their they phone. Call they'll in. call in. Are you kidding me? And then they argue with the guest. <laughs> and they argue Phil, with Phil. Phil gets to say what he really thinks through the guest and, <laughs> and play the good guy. You know, like, oh, you shouldn't say that. And, you know, kind of talk down to his guests and... You know, I remember listening to a show for the first time when I was uh, probably about a decade ago, 
Um, and I, you know, I didn't get it for the first couple of times I listened. And I just thought, why is this talk show host letting these awful guests <laughs> run his show? <laughs> and it was just fascinating to listen to. Yeah, so, and, and when some of the guests are particularly offensive, the Phil's manager, Bob Green, yeah. uh, who Phil also plays, we'll David call G. Him. Hall actually was his. Thank manager. you, thank yeah. you, Ian. David G. Hall would come, which in. is the real uh, name of a manager in P- a Premier Radio Networks at the time. Yeah, was a friend of Phil's. Uh, but he'll call in, and, and it's Phil, and yeah. excoriate Phil for not having control <laughs> on of the his air. own show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now Phil's doing his own thing. He's he's always hated the talk radio business and has complained about a lot of the aspects of it. Yeah, he's but, quit doing radio. What a surprise. He's now talent, online only. Talent com- uh, complains that they're not taken good enough care of. I mean, oh, cry me a river. I mean, the fact is Phil's show's never going to be what it was when he was on at first, because he was on big stations, getting like lots of callers. Los Angeles. He's getting lots of callers, and that's what it took to do his kind of April Fool's <laughs> gotcha right. radio. And he's never been is he's never been what he was since. He needs to find new shtick. And I I really I really I don't welcome. Think he needs new shtick. His characters are so well developed. They're so yep. they're so great. But part of the fun of Phil Hendry's show was listening to somebody who didn't get the joke in that's there, try, arguing with the. Uh, you know, nine people that were Phil, and he's never going to get that again. That now. Yeah. He's never going to get it again. Because anybody listening to his show now that it's internet only are going to be people seeking Phil Hendry. And that's what I'm really hoping for. Is this is I love the idea that talent gets to be management at the same time. Because once the real world of dollars and cents and serving customers and doing these things strikes you, I, I, it's it's a whole different thing. Toll free number tonight, uh, 855 450 free. So I like Phil, you know, uh, it's a great show, and maybe you'll like it too. So some of the magic, some of the, the, the magic came from moments with callers, but also some of my favorite moments were when he was doing just his own his own segment, his own his own hour. Just with the characters? Yeah, like yeah. with General Johnson Jameson. Oh, I laughed out loud. I mean, there's no doubt listening to just Phil with, with, Bell with Phil. Spoofs. He did kind of have this female guest in who I didn't recognize at all. I'm uh-huh. not sure if he has guests regularly with his new show or not, but uh, but he did have a female guest who was not Phil. And then everyone else on the show was Phil. She was obviously in, you know, she knows she knew what was going on. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, just his interactions with his characters were enough to keep me entertained. I, I continued listening to it. Sure. So, hey, don't tune out for Free Talk Live. Uh, don't go and listen to Phil over our show or, you know, whatever. 855-450 free. Lego, a tool of Satan. We'll get into that here. But first, Nathan's on the line. You're on Free Talk Live. Nathan. I really love your Onion uh, radio spots. I think one of the best oh, things about them is that... Um, they they kind of highlight the fact that you can't tell the difference between ordinary news and the fake news. Well, Mark says you can. Mark says anyone with a uh, modicum of intelligence can tell. Well, that's the thing is that the real news is sometimes so crazy and ridiculous that it it, it may as well be fake. I will so, often on a post on Free Talk Live's wall when I put a news story up there that's particularly ridiculous and doesn't make any sense, say not the onion. Mm-hmm. And that's to let folks know that this is not a spoof. I suppose I should say this is not a fake news article, but, um, you know, whatever. I yeah, not everybody the- is in on what The Onion is. I mean, believe it or not, we know what it is, but I, I would be very interested to know what the average person in America's awareness of The Onion is. Well, since the average person in um, America isn't aware who the vice president is, I imagine it's not very good. I really love that one. Uh, I think I don't know where that comes from, and I don't think it's even the onion, but it's the woman who talks about being abused and uh, you know he took over my life, he took over my finances, but I kept going back to the <laughs> same politicians. Yeah, that's the old LP uh, commercial. Actually, Doug from Minnesota was the he's one of our regular well, irregular callers, uh, but long time irregular callers. Doug is uh, also attendee of the Porcupine Freedom Festival. He was the, actually Miss Porcupole. Um, he, he was Miss yeah, Porcupole. Yep. And uh, man can work a pole. He was involved in creating the these LP Libertarian Party commercials back in like the year 2000 for the Harry Brown campaign. And he said to me recently, within the last year, that he still had the uh, you know, the, the audio from those commercials, and I wondered if there was anything that I could do with them. So I said, "Yeah." And he sent me the audio, and so I cut up one of them, the one you're talking about with the abusive politicians, the woman talking about how she's been abused. 
And the um, music is great too. Yeah, I cut really... that one up into a into a New Hampshire Liberty Party promo. So I took an old LP commercial and repurposed it. I guess I really appreciate all forms of ironic humor, and The Onion is one of the, the best sources for that that I found. Well, you'll be happy um, to know that I spent the bulk of the day today cutting up some uh, some new onions from the last several months, and I've still got se- a, a bunch, probably a few dozen more to go through. So we'll probably have some uh, some fresh onions hitting the airwaves on the Free Talk Live and LRN.FM streams here in a little bit. Thanks, Nathan, for your call tonight, 855 450 Freeze, the pro XPN toll-free line. You can take control of the airwaves. Come back with more with the Lego story. Is it a tool of Satan? Well, hopefully I wish we'll you just tell us, for God's sake. Finally find out here in a moment. Jeez. <laughs> more Free Talk Live on the way. You take control of the airwaves. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. If you've got aches and pain and soreness, it could be chronic inflammation. Listen to Dave talk about Relief Factor 4. I was in a sawmill accident and suffered with pain and discomfort for 60 years. I heard about Relief Factor 4 and decided to order it. And in four days, I was walking without a limp and without pain. I am thrilled. For more information or to order Relief Factor 4, go online at relieffactor4.com. That's relieffactor4.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. My name is Angel Rach. I'm a mother of two teenage children, and I fought all the way to the Supreme Court for the right to use the medicine that saved my life. I've been permanently disabled for 10 years with an inoperable brain tumor, wasting syndrome, and several other serious conditions. For four years, I was in a wheelchair in so much pain, I couldn't even hug my kids. The hardest part was looking in their eyes and seeing how much they were suffering because of my medical condition. The medicine that gave me my life back and gave my kids their mom back was cannabis, also known as medical marijuana. With medical marijuana, I can walk, maintain my weight, and I can be a mom. Without it, my doctors believe that I would die. To learn more about medical marijuana, contact Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or on the web at mpp.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here, toll free, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And, of course, don't forget you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Uh, we do have archives, and they go back for quite a ways. Just go and download them for free at freetalklive.com. And you can get interactive in a variety of ways on our website. The bulletin board system is one of those. So check out that and a number of other fun stuff like our chat room in the on the webcam page. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy. Now, if you're online and you care about privacy, you really should check out ProXPN. It is a global virtual private network. It encrypts your online data back and forth, meaning whatever leaves and comes into your computer has been encrypted by ProXPN software on either, on either your side or their server's side. ProXPN.com slash FTL is where you can go to download that software. It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android devices. So whether it's your smartphone, your laptop, your desktop computer, you can get Pro XPN protection for it. Uh, ProXPN.com slash FTL, you go grab the software, and when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, because there is a free account, you can just go and get started right now, but when you're already ready to upgrade, use code FTL20, that's FTL like Free Talk Live, and the number 20, and you will save 20% off the price of their premium account for the lifetime of the account. So ProXPN protects you in a variety of ways. One, because of the encryption, your internet service provider will no longer be able to log your browsing habits, which they're probably doing right now in some cases for up to five years, recording the websites you visit, recording the search terms that you're entering. You can stop that tonight by going to proxpn.com slash FTL and grabbing the software. They also, when, with the premium account, there's unlimited bandwidth. You can select your server around the world that you can connect to. ProXPN has multiple servers worldwide. You get it all with a uh, risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL plus. It'll get you around blockages. So if you are in a, a foreign country where certain things are not allowed to be searched for, certain websites aren't allowed to be visited, if you've got ProXPN, it gets you around that. So go and check out uh, ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use code FTL20 and save that 20%. Charles in West Virginia listening to W... Uh, w... I don't know. I'm spacing out right now. West Virginia. WVFT. Yeah. VTS, excuse Hi, me. Hi, guys. Hey. How's the weather? What's on your mind tonight? All is well here in New Hampshire. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, great. it was a warm day today. <laughs> oh, it was here too, 72 degrees, finally. All, All right, right sir. So what's on your mind tonight? <laughs> well, the breaking news story yesterday and was on most of the uh, airhead channels and stuff. And again this morning and most of the day was... Uh, Cow farts. Cow farts. Cow, cow farts. Okay. We, the cow methane is, uh, we've got to reduce it by one fourth in the next while, post haste. Why? It's what's, causing a lot, it's what's causing a lot of the world climate change. I can't call it global warming mm. anymore. But, uh, no, uh, yeah, it was all over the radio and everything. Are y'all not listening to the radio? Well, you know, I listen. Um, I've been I've been actually talking about uh, cow farts for years here on Free Talk Live because I feel that the the whole conversation around uh, anthropogenic global climate change is completely disingenuous when people talk about carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is if you know as rated against methane is only a twentieth of as powerful of a of a greenhouse gas as methane is. And so what people need to do is talk about cow farts, and one of two things is going to happen. Either America is going to say, okay, we're giving up cheeseburgers, or people are going to say, oh, well, I guess we can't do anything about global warming, because... I don't mm-hmm. think I don't see people stopping being um, uh, carniv- carnivorous. Well, maybe energy companies can capture the gas. Well, uh, I have a solution. I'd love to hear it. To both problems. To both problems. Go you for take, it. You take a tank, say like a scuba tank, and you put it on the cow's back, or something, maybe like a saddle, not quite a saddle. You put a solar-powered compressor on the tank. You run a hose from the tank, the compressor, 
up the cow's butt. It compresses the gas into the tank. No more methane into the air. And there, voila, take the tank off, put a new tank on, you have a whole new energy resource. Yeah, think about all the government contracts you can get to make those things. Big money. Solved at once. And it, I didn't even have to think about it. It just came. Yeah, so they that's can't, how I do good they, ideas. They can't do that with people, though. What they, they need is little uh, methane-powered <laughs> carts for the cows to sort of drive around. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's another there you another go, Charles. Idea. Thanks for sharing your thoughts tonight. I do appreciate I'll, hearing I'll from you. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. You could make a solar powered air uh, methane compressor, but why? When you've got all that methane there, you need a methane powered methane compressor. Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. The story from the Telegraph, the UK. Now this story was published today, April first, and so that was my first clue that maybe this isn't a legitimate story. I believe it. However, on further digging, if you just search for this story about Lego being tool of Satan, which is the claim by this Polish priest, you'll find a, a bunch of other stories that link to the Telegraph story. So what you have to do is go and look at the original Polish story. The story came originally from Super Express, which is a Polish newspaper. All right. You go to their website, and that shows... The story was posted on the 31st. Hmm. Now, that's a better indicator that this probably isn't an, April's, uh, an April Fool's Day prank. However, further uh, digging confirms, I believe, uh, Mark, your theory that this is a legitimate story. But I've been around, I, I grew up in uh, you know, a Christian private school, uh, went to churches my whole upbringing, and I've heard this complaint all the time. So, yeah, I, I believe it. Well, as I dug further, because I wanted to make sure this wasn't a joke, so I dug further and I found an article from October of last year, which is the same priest, uh, where he's talking about other toys that he thinks are you know, tools of Satan. So this is kind of this guy's gig. His name is, uh, he's a Polish priest. His name is Father Slawomir Kostz, wow, Kostzua. He says uh, toy, the toy company represents a world of death. We'll get into the story world here from telegraph.co.uk. A Polish priest has warned parents be on their guard against Lego. Warning the plastic blocks are a tool of Satan and can destroy children's souls. In a presentation aimed at parents, Father Kostruza said the popular Danish toy company had taken a lurch to the Lego's dark side. Lego's Danish? Yeah. I didn't, you didn't know, know that. that. That's yeah. where Legoland is. Uh, taking a lurch to the dark side with its series of monster fighters and zombie minifigures, and that they were, quote, about darkness and the world of death, unquote. Friendly fellows, he says, have been replaced by dark monsters, he explained. These toys can have a negative effect on children. They can destroy their souls and lead them to the dark side. This is the same thing as Halloween, Ian. Um, I mean, I, re I went to a Christian school for most of my upbringing, and this was always an issue. You know, the kids would want to wear their costumes to school, and a couple of the kids couldn't because their parents didn't believe in Halloween uh, because it was, you know, Sam Hain, a pagan holiday or whatever. And as always... You know, the devils, the demons, the um, the zombies, the vampires, all these things were always the problem. We'll come back with more here in moments. If you think Legos are a tool of the devil, we'd love to hear from you at 855-450-FREE. Surely someone agrees with this character. It's Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. 
Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-453. And perhaps you are one of the probably very few people in the world who believes that Lego is a tool of the devil. Especially now that apparently Lego has new toy lines uh, called Monster Fighters and Zombie Minifigures. So cashing in on the idea that young people like the you know the the movie monsters you know, Dracula and Frankenstein and not that anybody who's young in this day and age has ever seen those movies I've never even seen the uh, the originals but they always keep remaking them they've the seen Twilight and the characters uh, are certainly going to be with us for all eternity it seems like uh, but now apparently Lego has some characters out there that look like Dracula etc Lord Vampire is one of them and he looks awfully like Dracula. So there are certain people in uh, religions, one priest in Poland in particular, who has come out against the Lego characters. We'll continue that story. By the way, he's not just against Legos. He's also apparently against My Little Pony, which was also a recent subject of discussion here on Free Talk Live. By the way, Johnny Ray also has his Game of the Week, so we still have to get to that coming up here in a bit. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And, of course, you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Uh, Keenvention, you want to check out the uh, New Hampshire? You want to check out what it's like to be around other liberty-oriented activists? Well, of course, we told you about the Porcupine Freedom Festival, which is coming up this summer. But then later this fall, Keenvention is happening. And speaking of spooky things, it'll be starting on October 31st, so on Halloween. It's going through November the 2nd. 
We've yet to announce any of the official schedule yet, but I'm very close to announcing our first uh, keynote speaker, which I think a lot of people are going to be very excited about. So that's coming soon. You can go to keenvention.info to learn more about the event. Johnny Ray, you were one of the the panel presenters there last year. I was the best one. So we don't know who's going to come back, uh, which you know guests and presenters. I mean, it'll probably mix it up a little bit. Gonna. I was thinking about the panel discussions today and thinking about you know cutting some of the ones from last year and putting new ones in this year. So all of that is being worked on as we speak. And if you want to see what Keenvention 2013 was like. Good news. Uh, every moment of it was recorded uh, on video, and you can go and watch all the stage presentations, at least, uh, the panel discussions, the keynote speeches. All of it is all up. You can go and watch the entirety of it or whatever ones are interesting to you, whichever speeches. They're all separate videos. And you can go to keenvention.info to see that. And grab your tickets. The ticket price is 40 bucks for an entire weekend. You get to come hang out with Liberty Activists. These are the doers. The people that we have speak at Keenvention is a different event than the Liberty Forum, which you might have heard us broadcasting from a couple months ago or about a month ago. A very, very different event from Liberty Forum because we don't invite people from elsewhere. These are New Hampshire-based Liberty Activists who are New Hampshire natives and uh, people as part of the Free State Project, people who moved here. But you have to be an activist in New Hampshire to qualify as a speaker. You can come watch Keenvention. Uh, and have come from elsewhere. But these are the doers. These are the people with their boots on the ground, the political movers, the civil disobedience, you know, superstars, the media characters like Dave Ridley. You heard him earlier. He actually moderated a panel of news media. I believe you were on that panel, Mark Edge. Yep. Uh, So, again, all of that is visible over at keenvention.info. You can grab your tickets uh, now for 40 bucks via Eventbrite through your credit card or through BitPay by using Bitcoin. And in fact, that's the most recent article over at Keenvention.info is how Bitcoin was the secret to Keenvention 2013 success. When I was putting together Keenvention, it was my understanding that a first time convention generally is a loser. Like generally, if you're gonna if you're gonna put together a brand new convention for the first time ever, that generally you should expect to not turn a profit the first year out. That's just what I've heard from yep. people who've kind of had some experience throwing conventions. Well, Keenvention would have been about a few hundred dollars in the red when all was said and done, had we only sold tickets for cash. But in 2013, the price of Bitcoin went up quite a bit between, say, the summertime or the early months of the year and the very end of the year. And so by the time Keenvention was over, we were into November and the price was shooting up of uh, Bitcoin. So actually, the fact that we took Bitcoin for Keenvention, we only sold four or five tickets for Bitcoin. The fact that we sold just that few, that small amount of tickets was enough to put us solidly into the black. So thanks to everybody who, whether you buy with credit card or Bitcoin, appreciate it. Uh, it's going to be a limited a- attendance. Keenvention's a smaller event than anything else that's happening as far as conventions and pork fest in New Hampshire. So go to keenvention.info and learn more there. So I think, Ian, you're um, assuming that this, uh, this priest, this Polish priest who says that Legos are now a tool of the devil, you're assuming that this guy's so marginalized, and I don't think he is. Mm. I think that um, that there's a good portion of the Christian population out there that takes the 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 Bible so literally. What portion? What you want me to make a percentage guess? Yeah, I'm just curious. Um, in the United States, or yeah, sure. what? What what land mass are we talking well, about? Well, I guess here? you know when at wherever because different parts of the United States are more or less religious, right? So, so I don't know. Ten percent of the population, mm. uh, maybe five. I don't know. That says that. Because I think that this makes a lot of Christians uncomfortable. They have to ask themselves. You remember the the Harry Potter kerfuffle? This is the same argument. Um, Well, our children are reading books about witches and elves and uh, demonic possessions. Before you know it, they'll be doing dark masses in uh, circular pentagram uh, cleared sections of forest. I don't know what else you do. I had a game guide um, about one of the. No, I had. I think I had a game magazine. That was about it had a preview of Warcraft three in it, and there was some guy on the cover with uh, antlers coming out of his head, and and my mom was was she was upset and mm. and scared when she saw it. Was she a real religious lady? That's tough to answer. I'm gonna say she go to church weekly. What? 
you know what? I don't really know. She she kind of told me once, you know, the Bible was written by men. Mm-hmm. And, you know, her point was it's not infallible. And But then later in life, she seems to have become a little more devout. So I, I don't really know how to answer that question, but she was very uncomfortable with the, the man with the antlers on the cover of my magazine, and it was devil worship to her. You know, my mother uh, was somewhat religious. She still goes to church. She's on the church choir or whatever, but I don't remember dealing with anything like that as uh, as a young person. <laughs> Maybe you've had an experience. It's not that big of a deal in the in the Presbyterian church, Ian. Um, okay. We're, we're just talking about people who are less mainline, more of the evangelical uh, you know, crowd, and mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a good percentage of those as far as Christians go, and those people take their Bibles very seriously, and their Bibles are going to say things like, you know, the way they're going to interpret them is that... This yeah. is sorcery. I wish we could dig one of them up, though, to actually you know, call into the show. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you agree with uh, the priest here, the Polish priest, who is saying that Lego's new monster figures are tools of Satan, saying they can destroy your children's souls and lead them to the dark side, Lego's monster fighters, this is from the Telegraph story, range uh, features Lord Vampire, a fanged Dracula-like character who battles the likes of Dr. Rodney Rathbone and Major Quentin Steele. They try to prevent him from cloaking the world in darkness. The priest also cited research by New Zealand's University of Canterbury that found the facial expressions of Lego figures have also become angrier over the years and that this compounded their evil potential. Now, this is uh, an interesting uh, conversation that I have with my wife about Legos. Really? Because a- Legos have, um, they have this city thing, mm-hmm. um, which is... Planes and government bureaucracies of all different Cops, sorts. Firemen. Cops, firemen, and I mean, my my son has a bunch of Legos, mm-hmm. and there's you know, I always one, hated the city toys when I was a kid. My my son loves them because this is what my wife wants him to have mm-hmm. if he's going to have. Any but there's of so them. many cool space ones. Why wouldn't you want to go with something cool like space or like Vikings or something like that? I couldn't tell you precisely. He's into them. Um, mm-hmm. There's no doubt about it. But I mean, he's got such an incredible bureaucrat load on the one family. Mm-hmm. There's two families that have a, a, a car and a camper um, that they live in in this city, and the uh, the property tax load has to be tremendous on this family because they're, they're supporting. <laughs> the Lego family. Yeah, they're supporting at least 20 firefighters and at <laughs> least 10 cops, and I assume the air traffic controllers in some way or another um, are, are, are bureaucrats, and then the pilots and stuff. I mean, is I just I'm not sure where the pilots live. They stay in the plane the whole time. Hmm. I, I, you know, I mean, it, it's it's sort of this unrealistic city. What's worse, zombies or or a a city that's so unrealistically full of government bureaucrats? Great question. We'll come back with more of the Father Kostzua's attack on Lego here in moments. You can take control on Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts and your experience if you've dealt with this stuff. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. 
The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't going to make... Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's Free Talk Live. Evil Legos? That's what one Polish priest is saying, and he appears to be for real. This does not appear to be an April Fool's joke or prank. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you've had to deal with or you were raised in a family, a religion that is of a similar belief system, that having uh, a, a Dracula-flavored Lego set is going to somehow bring your child to the dark side, I would love to hear from you tonight at 855-450-FREE. If you're hearing us later, if you're listening to the podcast or listening online to our streaming later, call tomorrow night about this subject. I'm fascinated by this. Uh, and this guy seems to be for real. There's a little bit more here from the story at the Telegraph. But by the way, if you want to help support Free Talk Live, please become a Free Talk Live amplifier. We're doing a matching funds contribution setup right now with the AMP program. You send in 5 bucks a month via your uh, favorite credit card through PayPal or Visa or MasterCard right through our website. You set up for 5 bucks a month. We've got listeners who are going to match that 5 bucks. If you're doing 10 bucks a month, the 10 bucks is going to be matched. And we're looking to raise money to do Google AdWords uh, outreach online because it's easy for people who love liberty to find Free Talk Live. You know, we're pretty ubiquitous, at least to some extent, in the, the kind of the liberty movement. People know about us. Some people know about us. Uh, but in the, the regular world, people don't know about Free Talk Live unless they happen to come across us on a local radio station. And we happen to be on over 140 stations, which is what a lot of the Free Talk Live AMP money does, is it helps us get on more radio stations. But we also want to reach out to internet listeners who have not even thought about looking for Free Talk Live. Just people who are looking for talk radio. Just generically searching for internet talk radio or something like that on Google. We want to target AdWords to them and get them to find Free Talk Live, get them to find the ideas of liberty, as many of our listeners have done. So if you want to help us with that, please go and become a Free Talk Live amplifier. You get your amp dollars doubled, uh, up to 950 bucks a month, and we're currently at around, I think, 600-some uh, there. So we've got a few hundred more bucks that we can raise to, to make that matching level of contribution. 
So the, make the maximum of the matching level. If we only get you know 700 a month, we're going to get all 700 matched. But if, but we can get up to 950. So you can help us by becoming an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. And you get perks too, like access to the Amp Only call-in lines, the Amp Only podcast, the brand new Amp Only Facebook group, which has been that a real pretty busy. hit. Yeah. Uh, it's been really great so far. So check that out. Again, go to amp.freetalklive.com. Now, um, Ian, you had uh, talked about this uh, this thing with the undead here, and it reminded me the I, I was watching Comic Book Men with uh, Kevin Smith Smith, mm-hmm. um, and I learned something about the Comics Code Authority that I didn't know. Now, I worked at a comic book store for eight years, from like twelve, it was, I guess six years, from twelve to uh, eighteen. And this comic, co- the the Comics Code Authority stamp was on every one of the Marvel and DC comics at the time. Was the boss at the place uh, like the comic book shop guy um, from The Simpsons? <laughs> I don't know anything about The Simpsons. I'm sorry. Oh, he was a uh, he was a overweight, goateed, pedantic dork no okay um the guy who ran the place uh was uh, quite a savvy businessman and uh, realized that uh, people who liked comics need to be needed to be served and so he uh, opened a store although we did have the guy you're talking about come in and buy a lot of comics <laughs> and he wore a lot of different clothes and had a lot of different weights um you know hmm. carried a lot of different statures but yes that personality type certainly was uh, represented but um this comics code authority among other things it disallowed the undead. So now, is this a voluntary trade organization that Marvel and DC and these groups in the, kind of came into? In the fifties, there was uh, the, co- the comics were getting st- the weird tales, mm-hmm. tales, strange tales, you know, doing this stuff, and they were getting weirder and weirder, and you know, women in their underpants being attacked by monsters. Sounds ah! great, right? And it. It was just too much for the people of the 50s to handle, I Hmm. guess. And so, you know, congressional uh, committees were, uh, inquests were were, uh, brought into play. Uh, People said that these vibrant, uh, this guy North um, is quoted as saying something about these vibrant colors and these comic books are driving our kids insane. We need muted tones. It's something. (laughs) I don't know exactly what he was trying to say, but it was really funny. from New England. And the, uh, th- this, you know, just sort of the complaint was is that these things are just getting out of hand. Mm. And so there were a lot of zombies, a lot of undead, a lot of stuff like that um, being in comic books at the time. And this really precipitated the switch from comics being sort of full on superhero uh, magazines. Mm-hmm. And one of the things they couldn't have was the undead. So Marvel, I think this was in the 70s. So again, was it a mandated government thing or a trade organization kind of like the It was ESRB a trade or organization that was threatened. It was a, it was brought under by the duress essentially. Uh-huh. Um, you know, either either you guys uh, regulate yourselves or we're going to do it for is you. Is it gone today? It is gone today. Okay. It went away in the early aughts. Um, Marvel hmm. Marvel left uh, the Comics Code Authority um, in like 2001, I So believe. there were other comic companies in the 90s that were publishing some very violent comics. Yeah, that didn't matter. At that point, it, you know. No one was enforcing anything. It was yeah. just like a trade organization. At that point, that you was, had television yeah. with the crazier stuff. Okay. So it didn't make any sense that Marvel couldn't have zombies, skeletons vampires and a variety of other undead mm-hmm. folks but in the 70s it mattered so they had this character called the living vampire um, that they they talked about so they had to say he was a living vampire <laughs> not an undead vampire and it it was really sort of funny um, that they had to make this uh, distinction now I remember this comic and um, it didn't really mean anything to me it just like you know whatever uh, you know, living vampire, fine. It was just a vampire char- uh, character to me, but it's called Morbius, and he was in uh, Spider-Man and um, a variety of the other ones. Um, he had his own little sub-series for a little while, and, uh, you know, he was he, he was just a vampire that they called the living vampire, and that was sort of their fun thing to do. But think about this, Blade vampire right mm-hmm. so right. he Who was outlawed vampires? he would have been outlawed by the ac the the, mm. the, the, the comics code authority this uh cac uh, CCA. cca sorry I, I don't know the initials on it i just remember the comics code authority and 
you know, this is this is what these things can do. These these sort of these witch hunts, um, and I'm sure that that many good Christian folks were involved in the inquest on comics that were warping our kids' minds back yeah. then. This is the time of I Love Lucy, and you couldn't say pregnant on. So the, things haven't changed, is what you're saying. That now, you know, there's an attack on Lego by this Polish priest, and you're saying this is just another iteration of what happened with the comics. Game. I like yawn. Ah, uh, you know, like why, why are we giving these people People, any kind of press. I mean, I find it fascinating. I, but why. let's. I, that's what you. I, I understand why we, we do it because we just don't care. Um, I mean, we're, we're completely ridiculing him. But why does the press give them? I wouldn't even be talking about it if the press didn't talk about it. Stop giving nuts airtime. I guess is what I kind of think. Uh, I mean, it's just you know, it it bores me. Johnny Ray Hearthstone. Last week you told us about your game of the week, but you had just started playing it literally an hour or so before the show. Right. Uh, it's a card game online, and yep. kind of you you suggested it might be similar to Magic: The Gathering in that you have hit points, you have monsters, you're you're casting, mo- you know, using mana to cast spells. You've had a week to play to get into it. What do you think? Well, I like it. Um, I don't know that it's got a lot. There's a whole lot to learn new about playing games or playing Magic: The Gathering like games. But the the model that they have here is really simple. It's it's easy to understand, and not it's, much of a learning curve. Pretty easy to pick up. Uh, I wouldn't say that yet. Yeah, easy to play, you mm-hmm. know. Simple to play. Uh, what what uh, a lot. Li- a minute to learn, a lifetime to master. Okay. Something something more along those lines. But what I really do like about it is that you um you get you can get in and you can play. Without paying for it, it's, it's oh, that's a, cool. It's a free to play model. How's it supported by advertising, or can you buy things in the game? You can buy things in the game and advertising. <laughs> um, I don't think that there's any advertising. There's advertising for other BattleNet products, okay, but um, but no no external um, hawkers on there. And uh, but you can you can get in and and play for free, and in a day you can. You can usually rack up enough. You can grind enough to buy about a dollar fifty worth of their uh, stuff, which is new fresh cards. Do you ever you know? wonder to yourself, um, why am I spending my whole day trying to get a dollar's fifties worth of cards <laughs> when I could just buy the cards? Now I've I, I've played games like this and I've done exactly the same thing. But then I'm like I'm doing the math and I'm saying to myself, why the hell don't I just if I want this thing, why don't I just plop <laughs> down the thirty seven cents and get it? Because it's cheap. I, I, I don't know. I, I think that these I think these games are all designed around mind control is what mm. I think. I think they're intended to suck you in. The grinding is in fact the true price. That if you were to just give them five or ten dollars, just every time they asked for money from you for these things, you give it to them that you'd stop playing their game and stop wasting your time and get back to work. Johnny Ray, the, the best way to get goodies in the game is to play in the arena. And when you get when you get in the arena, you're getting a a sort of a, uh, a draft. There's like a card draft, and everybody goes in with the same potential to get a good deck, and I love that. That's Johnny Ray's review of Hearthstone. He's having fun with it. We'll see you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, at freetalklive.com. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks, why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. 
By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, March 31st, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,294, silver opened at $19.93, and Bitcoin is trading at $462.34. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Online at affordablesound.com or call them 512-459-5253. Support also comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Online at SovereignBTC.com. And support comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights at 9 o'clock central at CoreyMooreShow.com. In the news, on Sunday afternoon, enraged Albuquerque citizens gathered outside of police headquarters to protest the March 16th killing of James Boyd at the hands of the APD. Body camera footage from the APD shows officers unloading beanbags, stun guns, and live ammunition on Boyd. Protesters marched for around eight hours, calling on the APD chief to be fired. Around 9.30 p.m., the police began firing tear gas canisters, claiming the demonstrators were vandalizing property. A sweeping reform bill was approved by Greek officials as over 10,000 citizens rallied in Athens to protest the latest international loans for the faltering nation. The reforms were debated in a fast-track two-day session, leading protesters and lawmakers to push back against the bailout from the European Commission, the European Central Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. More than 30 people are killed in the capital of the Central African Republic, leading the UN to call for more forces to be dispatched to that area. It happened when peacekeeping soldiers from Chad opened fire on civilians over the weekend. The soldiers were returning from a mission in the country's interior when their vehicle was hit by a grenade, and they began shooting into a nearby crowd. Al Jazeera reports it's unclear how many have been killed in the country since violence started in December. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, home of one of the first Bitcoin ATMs in the country where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Visit the ATM at 321 West White Boulevard, number 203. And support for Liberty Meat also comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwest Burritos with homemade tortillas, online at CaboBob's.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, March 31st, 2014. Check out the website, thelibertybeat.com. According to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, the company is preparing to expand by providing Internet access to the entire world. Using solar-powered high-altitude planes and low-orbiting satellites, the Facebook Connectivity Lab plans to deploy and deliver reliable Internet connections. Zuckerberg stated that his company is already working with many of the world's leading experts in aerospace and communications technology, including researchers from a British company called Ascenta that helped create the world's longest solar-powered drone. 122 world leaders were targeted by the NSA. That's according to a Der Spiegel and the Intercept newspaper report based on documents leaked by Edward Snowden. Along with German Chancellor, other leaders of other foreign countries specifically named as NSA targets are Peru, Somalia, Syria, Guatemala, and Colombia. The report also states that the United States intelligence counterpart in Britain targeted three German companies for surveillance. Add yet another failure to the mini-experience since the rollout of Obamacare. 
People trying to apply and enroll for private health insurance before Monday's midnight deadline found it impossible. That's because the healthcare.gov website again malfunctioned, leaving would-be users in the dark. NBC News reports the site began functioning in a 